Hey, so today I'm going to show you how I like to animate rain in Toon Boom Harmony. So for this example, I've got a blue color card, I've got a ground drawing, and then I've got this cloud drawing. So first step is just to grab the basic gravity node and drop it into the node view. And then we're going to delete sync and take off the 3D region for the velocity. Okay, so right now our particles are being emitted from a sphere. Um, for this example, I'm going to use a cylinder. Um, you could also use a sphere, but I'm just going to use a, a cylinder. To show the cylinder, just make sure that you've got your controls. So go to View, Show, and then Control. Next, let's add a peg to the 3D region for the sprite emitter. And uh, this is going to be useful to move our particles anywhere in our scene. So let's just start by moving them up to where the cloud is. And you can see that's a bit laggy because there's so many particles in our scene right now. So let's uh, use the Kill node. And the Kill node will basically eliminate our particles after a certain amount of frames. So 7 looks good, it's just out of the scene, let's just keep it there for now. That way our computer isn't slow. And then I'm going to change the shape of the cylinder so I can so it fits really nicely behind that cloud. And right now there's uh, too many particles being emitted so let's change the, the number of particles. Um, and make sure you click on apply probability for each particle. Okay, I'm going to click on the particle baker, and then here, the number of pre-roll frames basically means that the particles will be emitted at the very beginning of the scene. So if you don't have any pre-roll frames, the beginning of your scene won't have any particles. Okay, next I'm going to change the gravity um, from negative 1 to negative 0.1, because at negative 1, it's a, it's, the rain's going to be falling a, a bit too fast. And now that the gravity's, you know, the particles are falling slower, that means when we kill them at 7 frames, that means they're going to be dying midway through their fall, so let's change the, um, on the kill node, let's change it to about 20, so that way the, the particles are dying right when they hit the ground. So that looks good. So let's rename this drawing rain, and let's draw the rain right now. Make sure you click on your grid, and go to your drawing layer, and I'm just going to do a few, a few lines. So I'm drawing my raindrops horizontally right now, but you'll see when we go back to the scene that the raindrops will be falling the right direction. So in order to, to change our particles into the raindrops that we drew, we've got to make sure that we use the particle type. And then we're going to want to change the particle type from 1 to 5, so that it's using all five of our drawings. Otherwise, it's just going to show the same raindrop every time, which still looks good, uh, but I think it looks a little bit better with the five drawings. Now let's move this rain behind the cloud. All right, that's looking pretty good. Next, let's do the splashes of the rain on the ground. So to do that, just click the basic particle, uh, the basic particle setup. So let's rename them now so that they show what they actually are. So this is going to be the splashes, and I'm going to rename this the rain. Okay, so let's go into this basic particle setup. We're first going to need to add a drawing, and this is going to be our splash drawing. And we can plug it in right here into our sprite emitter. And let's add a peg to our planar region so that we can move around the splashes in our scene. And right now, it's uh, emitting 100 particles. We're not going to need that many. So let's just lower the number, and that'll also make it easier on our computer. And again, let's uh, show the, the planar region so that we can shape it to the shape of our ground. All right, and once the planar region's lined up, we're going to draw our splashes. So you can draw your splashes as complicated or as simple as you want. I'm going to use a simple example here. And I'm going to turn the onion skin on so I can see the previous drawings. And, and uh, this example is only going to be about five frames long. All right, that looks good to me. So now let's go into the sprite emitter. And in our rendering tab, we're going to want to click on Use Age. And then again, in our particle baker, we're going to want to add some pre-roll frames so that our splashes start at the beginning of our scene. And there you go. There are the splashes in the rain. And with this setup, it's also really easy to change and modify things so that it fits your scene. All you have to do is change the size of the planar region or the 3D region, and then you can have the rain cover your entire scene and your splashes covering the entire ground. Just mess around with a couple of the settings, like maybe the kill node. Right now, the raindrops are being eliminated before they hit the ground, so just change that value a little bit, and there you go.